Uh, the title of this movie is Mowgli, yes. uh, the legend of the of the jungle. So we understand the movie from the from the title. So it's it's Mowgli yes. and then the the jungle. Can I ask you why this story and why in this way? Because. Um, I wanted to approach this story in a way that represented the book, the going mm -hmm. back to the source material. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, and in the book, Mowgli is very much the central character. And in many other film adaptations, it's really about celebrating the, the animals. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and actually, it's not really seen from Mowgli's point of view. And we wanted to make this journey a very emotional journey about a child who is... Uh, growing up, not knowing w which world he belongs to, and mm -hmm. so there's a real sense of his search of discovery for his for his identity and this yearning for a sense of belonging. So, so, so really, and that that is that is in, that is from the book. Mm -hmm. So that that was what was, and that's why we've called it Mowgli. I mean, it's his journey, it's his story. Wow, and I never see the the jungle in this way. It's it's really you know realistic. It's dirty yeah. and. It's um, the character are animal, but with the human face. Yes. How did you do that? Yes. Well, we, again, we wanted to again we wanted to ground this story so it felt real, emotionally mm -hmm. truthful. Um, so we we did when we were designing the jungle. We we didn't want it to be some sort of CG mm -hmm. fantastical jungle that that is almost unbelievable. It, we wanted it because we were shooting on location. Yeah, read really something Africa about the location. And, yeah. Um, you know, we wanted to match the, the, mm -hmm. the feel of the real rocks and the dead leaves and the bugs and the kind of, you know, the, the real jungle. Yeah, I and never see Mowgli take the bugs in. Right, right. Even, <laughs> it was disgusting. <laughs> but, but so realistic. You know, yeah. yeah, exactly. You know, we, we, it, we wanted to make it sort of emotionally truthful mm -hmm. and feel real. And, and, so, and then the, the design of the animals mm -hmm. was so that you can see... Uh, the, the actors' faces coming, yes. coming through yeah. uh, the, the animals. For me, that was very important because I didn't want to just have a voice mm -hmm. on top of a, a, like a, a photorealistic tiger mm -hmm. or a mm -hmm. bear or, or, or wolves. That because I thought that wouldn't really sit inside the animal, you know. Mm -hmm. Really, and also because the film is seen from Mowgli's point of view, they are his friends and they are his family. So mm -hmm. they and they are they are really kind of humans in animal. Skins, really, I yeah, suppose. Yeah, and it's a real important message about the soul. Yeah. yeah yes, so. absolutely. I mean, Mowgli learns all of these, you know, messages about existence, mm -hmm. what it is to, to live and to be yeah. alive. He does. One of his big questions is what happens to the soul when, when, when you when die, you know. So. Yeah. And you are the king of the performance capture, uh, but this time was a real challenger because you... you direct the movie and also play Baloo. Yes. I want to know why Baloo. <laughs> and which one was the hardest thing to do during the set? You know, um, actually directing all of the cast was, they're yeah. such great actors. We were so well. blessed. We had an amazing <laughs> cast. You, know, amazing you chose cast. the best one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just, and, and so, so th there is no secret to performance capture acting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like you have to learn a special way of acting. It's it's really about becoming the character. And mm -hmm. yes, you have to observe animals and you have to uh, study them. And, and I think it's a bit different if you play it, it, someone, I don't know, a human being, <laughs> maybe yes, yes, a tiger. But, but it, it is, but you're still using your imagination as mm. an actor to become something else, mm. you know? So it's not a huge, I mean, it's, it's a bigger leap. Perhaps, but um, but the, the essence of what you're doing as an actor is imagining that you are this other being. Mm -hmm. um, so so th uh, all of the actors, you know, fell into it very very easily. Mm -hmm. And the other part of your question was uh, Baloo and why Baloo. I mean, I didn't intend to actually act in this. No? I knew that I would be oh. very busy with directing it because it was a big I film. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, I imagine. But, but yeah, but um, but actually, um, we we he was the last one to be cast. And, and then the producers, we all looked at each other and, 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 I, and they said, look, Andy, it seems crazy that you're not in a film mm -hmm. which is so performance capture driven. And, you know, why don't you play Baloo? So, so I, I had a very strong idea about how I wanted to approach the mm -hmm. character. So I ended up taking on the role and I made him much more um, a tougher character mm -hmm. than, than I think people are used to mm -hmm. seeing, you know. Uh, much more about survival, about enabling Mowgli to survive and teaching the Cubs how to survive. I can see your face behind Baloo. Oh, good. Reason. Yeah, well, that's, that's good. Uh, it was a long journey mm. uh, for the movie, and finally, is coming on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Are you happy with the final result? 
And what about Netflix? I'm delighted. I'm really happy with the final result. I mean, the movie is the movie that we set out to make all those years ago in 2013. Mm -hmm. when I know. Um, and, and Netflix have been the most incredible partners for mm -hmm. us. And in a way, I'm delighted because it, it will be seen in 190 countries yeah. on December the 7th. I mean, you are really famous as an actor and now as a director. It's your second movie, I think so, yeah. But it's pretty different because you, you're going straight away in the in their house, so yeah. you can, you know, touch yeah, everybody. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and that's, that is the great thing with, with this movie. It works if you want to see it in the cinema. You have, there is a window where mm -hmm. you can see it now, and the theatrical release is important to Netflix too. But, but, but I'm, I really want people to see this film, and, and, and it's, it has a more of an international feel, I mm -hmm. think. It was always, for me, uh, uh, you know, I imagined it going to festivals and, and uh, you know, reaching an international audience, not just uh, it being about the mm -hmm. North American box office, you know. So, it was, so for me, we had our pr premiere in, uh, our world premiere in Mumbai, Mumbai. Which, yeah. which was amazing, you know, it was, it was fantastic. And to take this story back to India from where it was inspired was, was wonderful. So, Thank yeah. You. Is, uh, to, to, I'm, I'm delighted it's going to be in everyone's homes on December the 7th. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>